spot on Earth, there is a unique calculus of landscape that determines the precise amount of sunlight to reach that spot at each moment of time. The spot might be slightly more to the north or the south. It might be on the ground or a rooftop. The spot might be flat or sloped, away from or facing the sun's rays. The spot might be obscured by clouds or haze one moment and in direct light the next. The sun might emerge from behind a hill or a building, a chimney or a tree. Welcome to Geostellar's sunlight map of Washington, D.C. On our tour, we reveal the precise amount of sunlight each spot receives over the course of each year. At Union Station, we've painted the south-facing slope of the grand entrance shades of pink which describe the spectrum of sunlight from 5 to 6 kilowatts per meter squared per day. The National Air and Space Museum, with the upper roofs receiving 4.5 to 5 kilowatts, and the lower roofs from 3.5 to 4, and the various levels of the Lincoln Memorial receiving anywhere from 1 to 6. Crossing the river, we see the sunlight that reaches the terminals and runways of Reagan National Airport, and the roof and grounds of the Pentagon. Finally, we approach our destination, the home of Scott Sklar at 706 Ivy Street in Arlington, Virginia. I'm Scott Sklar. I'm president of the Stellar Group Limited. It's an 11-year-old company that optimizes renewable energy and energy efficiency in industrial, commercial, and government facilities. Scott is a world-renowned expert in solar power, having served for 15 years as executive director of the Solar Energy Industries Association. He has turned his 1926 Sears kit home into an energy-efficient solar power testbed with a wide array of technologies and systems. And as you can see from the eight and two panels on the roof here, and of course more on the other side of the south-facing roof, gives you enough electric quality and power to take your home or building either partially or in this case totally off the electric grid. Scott also augments his transportation with solar power. This is the 2010 Prius with the photovoltaic panel, and here it is the panel, uh, actually integrated into the roof to charge the battery. On his way to the office, Scott describes the effects of shadow, slope, and orientation on the homes in the District of Columbia. Most buildings are not oriented for the best solar. Uh, in homes and mixed-use developments that are, uh, first of all, you have the largest part of your roof south-facing because you know that's where your solar is going to be because you want to get the east-to-west arc of the sun for most of the day. Really, orientation is pretty important, not only in that you can get more solar on it, but you can lower the cost of the solar by how the roof is pitched and oriented. Scott works in a building overlooking Lafayette Park. On his roof, he has an array of test panels of various compositions with different efficiencies and price points, such as single crystal photovoltaics, thin film, and polycrystal. With our 3D solar slope and shadow model, Geostellar describes the precise amount of power that can be generated by various PV and inverter configurations on every rooftop and ground site across the city. For each structure, Geostellar provides both a quick dashboard and a detailed site report describing production, sunlight, ownership, rates, and many other factors. Searches across cities, counties, and states can be filtered by any of these variables, so solar project developers can target the property owners and structures that best fit their marketing strategy. In this case, Washington County Hospital is the first search result for rooftop projects between 100 and 800 kilowatts. Solar power production on each site is simulated at half-meter resolution, accounting for setbacks and shadows from such obstructions as HVAC units, elevator shafts, walls, trees, hills, and neighboring structures. For every half-meter pixel, every shadow is computed, even those originating over 10 kilometers away. Surface cover ratio of PV panels is determined based on the slope and orientation of the roof facet to ensure there is no shadowing from other panels at 9.15 a.m. on the shortest day of the year. The complete system can be designed remotely 
by applying a dose response curve for various types of PV panels every hour of the day based on sunlight, temperature, humidity, and wind for a typical year. When you find a property that meets your criteria, simply press the Save button to come back to it later, create a call list, or share it with a colleague. With power prices rising, greenhouse gas emissions increasing, and solar power becoming more efficient at lower costs, Geostellar is a necessary platform for all players in the new energy economy. Or, as Scott Sklar would say, A roof is a horrible thing to waste. <laughs>